All right, there we go. Thank you for coming back. If you're new, thank you for making your way over to the channel. This is uh, the Lazy Genius Tarot and Bazaar. My name is Alex. Today we are going to be doing a walkthrough of the Ananda Tarot. This is an A.G. Mueller deck from 2003. It's got the old uh, plastic sort of VHS cassette box thing going here. Um, so it does come with the book. Sorry about that. The book is 292 pages front to back. It's got um, card spreads, uh, very detailed information about each card, and a full image. Uh, I wish it was full color, but you know, 2003, what are you going to do? Still 292 pages. Um, a very detailed guidebook for this deck here. Um, it actually should have made its way into my deck collection videos with the rest of the Thoth based, uh, Thoth based decks, but somehow got left out. Um, so that is why I am sort of skipping this ahead on the walkthrough queue here. Uh, the deck does come with sort of a title card and this card that is the back sort of on a secondary title card there. And then here you have the card backs. And then here is the deck itself. All right, there we go. So this is the Ananda Tarot. I really like this one. Again, it's a thought-based deck from what I can tell. Um, it starts off with the Magician. The Fool, as you will see, is actually going to be numbered at 22 in this deck. The um, human-esque figures are all very ethereal. You'll notice that as we go through the deck here. Here's the Empress. Again, very ethereal. The Emperor almost looks like a stone statue. The Hierophant. The Lover's Card. Here we have the Chariot. Here with card eight we have Justice. Hermit, the Wheel of Fortune. I actually really like this card. Here we have Strength, which actually looks to be misspelled. Huh. Well, we have Reverse instead of the Hangman. It's an interesting image there. Here's the Death card.
here instead of temperance we have balance then we have the devil next we have the tower this is a pretty interesting card because here at the focus of the image we have like a tower which looks to be like a statue in some sort of a city center and then in the background sort of etherically you can see um, what looks to be a big tower of homes where it's just windows on top of windows going up and up and up out of the visual space of the card there pretty cool rendition of the tower then we have the star card we have the moon actually you can see the fish from Pisces the crab from cancer um, those are the only two water signs that I know of. Uh, I know that there's a third. I'm not entirely sure what the other one is off the top of my head. Um, I've got so much astrology reading going on lately that I have forgotten the symbols for some of the signs there. But I'm sure that it's in there as well. So, the moon and... All of the signs included that are ruled by the moon. The sun card. Card 20 instead of uh, judgment, we have the turning point then we have instead of the world we have the universe at card number 21 and then here on card number 22 we see the fool Here's the Ace of Swords. Now we are in to the minors. Um, I do this, believe this is going to be more of a Pip style deck. Um, it's not a deck that I've worked with much. I just recently received it a few weeks back, and um, I've been working with a couple of other decks that I've received in the meantime. But this is up on the list of decks that I will be working with uh, soon. And it's good to get a chance to really take some time to check out all of the cards here. I do believe that in its natural order, it goes through aces, twos, threes, fours, all at once. So we'll see all four aces and then all four twos and so on. Here's the ace of flames. The ace of cups. I really like that ace of cups. The ace of spheres which would be uh, the pentacles. I actually like these spheres. The spheres in this deck is one of my favorite suits in any tarot deck, honestly. Um, this is a really, really good uh, set of artwork here that he's got for the spheres. Uh, you'll see. It's one of my favorite suits out of any tarot deck. Here we have the Two of Swords, the Two of Flames, the Two of Cups, the Two of Spheres, The Three of Swords. The Three of Flames. 
You see flames seem to be lights emanating from the earth. Here's the Three of Cups. The Three of Spheres. And see here you have the archway and it's got the three spheres in there. So there are some cards that if you look real closely, they even give a slight nod to like the Rider Waite system and so on, but it's very much so a Thoth-based deck. Here we have the Four of Swords, the Four of Flames, the Four of Cups. I really like the Cup suit in this deck too. But the spheres, but the, the four of spheres here. This is just the artwork on the spheres. Well, the whole deck, really, but the spheres specifically for some reason. Here goes the five of swords, five of flames, five of cups. And then the five of spheres. The six of swords. Six of flames. Six of cups. And the six of spheres. Here's the Seven of Swords. Here you even see that one of the swords has like the snake wrapped around it. Looks like it's in a labyrinth that looks like there's almost like a mirror right here. There's a lot to unpack in the images in these cards when you really get to looking at them. Um, here goes the Seven of Flames. The Seven of Cups. I really like this card too. The Seven of Spheres. Now we are into the Eights where we have the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Flames there. Here's the Eight of Cups, and the Eight of Spheres. See, it looks like you've got all seven of the original astrological planets with the extra sphere there in the center. I really like that card. And then you have like the puzzle up here where the picture sort of fades out into what appears to be puzzle pieces, and it looks like pieces are missing. Um, small details like that. Here we have the nines, starting with the swords. Flames. The cups. And the spheres. Now we are into the tens. That is the swords. Here's the flames. Here are the are is the cups card for the ten. And the Ten of Spheres.
Here's the King of Swords. I've not been that far off center this whole time. Sorry guys, I'm just still figuring out my camera setup and where I get the best views in the camera lens there. Here we have the King of Swords. So the first uh, court card that we come across after the tens is the Kings. Here's the Knight of Swords. So it looks like it's going to do court cards by suit. So King and then Knight. And then we have the Queen of Swords, the image from the box. So Queen comes after the Knight. And we have the Princess of Swords. That's a really cool card. And then we have the King of Flames. The Knight of Flames. This is actually a really cool image. Look at that. Then the Queen of Flames. So yeah, it looks like the deck is ordered King, Knight, Queen, Princess. So then here's the Princess of Flames. Here's the King of Cups. The Knight of Cups. The Queen and the Princess of Cups. And then we have the Spheres, where we have the King of Spheres. Oh, sorry. I'll just pick these up and hold them. And then after the King, we have the Knight of Spheres. And then we have the Queen. And then we have the Princess. So the original order of the deck is a little, a little bit funky. Kind of went through everything numerologically. Um, definitely like the imagery in the cards here. Like the Justice card for instance. The Wheel of Fortune. Um, the Moon is a really cool card. Hold on. Let me actually pull out the book here and see what the book says for the Moon. Okay, so the image, for the image in the book, it just says, uh, as an intermediary between the powers of conscious and unconscious, a crab climbs from the dark waves towards the light. So, huh. maybe the fish image here on the little, almost what looks to be Sort of like a fishing line, even. Connecting the two fish there. Maybe that's not the actual symbol for Pisces. Maybe it's just a coincidence. Um, I don't know. Either way, I really like this moon card. I am excited to start working with this deck, actually. Um, I can't wait to start working with the Thoth-based stuff. I think that's what I'm going to work on first once I get done... Uh, pulling myself out of the book for the Rider Waite Smith. Uh, I'm almost there. I'm only checking the book a couple of times uh, on occasion when I need to in a reading when I get stuck. Um, but 
I am getting real close. So as soon as I get all the way out of the book for the writer Wade Smith, I will start learning Thoth based systems. Um, and I'm really excited to work with this deck. It took me a while to find. Um, I didn't realize how rare it was when it first wound up on my wish list, but I ended up finding it uh, on Facebook, actually in a Facebook marketplace group. Uh, I believe it was one of those tarot sales groups on the marketplace there. I actually got it for a pretty good price too. The cards are in amazing condition. They are almost perfect. I don't know if you can see that real good. They are almost perfect. And for a, a 2003, it's still in the original order. Um, the box itself has very minimal damage. Oops, dropped the card. Um, the box itself has very minimal damage. There's a little bit of damage up here in the corner. Um, and a little bit of damage. You can see like the plastic piece on the movie cover thing here is chipped and peeling a little bit, but it's not like super severe or anything like that. Um, a scuff mark on the back here. Outside of that, the box is in really good condition. And like I said, it is that old 90s style VHS sort of plastic case there. Um, this one has both of the title cards. So we've got this one and that one there as well. Fits real nicely here in the box. And I didn't mean to leave this guy out when I did the original collection walkthrough. Um, but I had really just received it like a week prior. Um, so when I did my walkthrough stuff, this was actually in a different location than the rest of my decks. So when I caught the other two decks that I hadn't included and I managed to squeeze them in at the end there in the Oracle video, um, this one did not make it to get squuzzed in there at the end either because like I said it was being stored somewhere else but uh, glad that I remembered to get it up and that'll be my first official walkthrough. I am probably going to post this one and then one more today. Um, because today is the last day of the Day of the Dead, so I am going to post a walkthrough of a Day of the Dead deck. Um, so look forward to that one coming up here in a few. I definitely appreciate you guys for coming back. Um, hopefully the sound is better. I did uncover one of my, uh, microphones for my phone here. Um, I have repositioned my camera set up so i think i have it dialed in where i can get a pretty good view of the deck and the box that it came in even if the box is a pretty good size and then when i hit the zoom button it is just enough to be able to zoom in real nicely on the deck that we're looking at so hopefully this proves to be some a good place and good placement for the microphone and the camera here. Um, let me switch that back. There we go. And that was the Ananda Tarot. Let me know in the comments if the camera positioning is better or if the sound is any better. Um, I am stuck with the phone that I have for now. Um, I am going to look for another camera or something though. And we will go from there. See if we can improve the video quality some. Uh, but I appreciate you guys. Thank you for coming along and I will see you on the next one. If you like the content, hit the subscribe button at the bottom there for me. And uh, like I said, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for coming by.